I'm Ben Woodison, and this is the Sovereign Sailor. The Sovereign Sailor is a 684 square foot, one bedroom, one bathroom, ocean going electric sailboat with two queen lofts and a garden. Looking at the outside of the ship, you can see four rigid solar panels which double as the ship's sails, an idea from Australian inventor Dr. Robert Dane of OSHIS. The sails automatically turn to the optimal sail angle relative to the wind. They also fold away when they are not needed. Centered between the sails, the ship has two pectoral fins which act as the ship's keel. These fins also control the ship's roll, left and right, as well as the ship's pitch, up and down. They fold away when not needed to lower the ship's draft. The ship's electric motor is mounted on a balanced rudder capable of turning 90 degrees in each direction. There is also a bow thruster for added control. The ship's plumb bow cuts through waves instead of bouncing over them, increasing efficiency and longitudinal stability. To reduce manufacturing costs and time, the hull is made of 22 flat faces with an octagonal cross section. Windows surrounding structural members run nearly the full length of the ship, giving the interior an open feel. Inside there are four bulkheads dividing the ship into six watertight compartments. The layout of the interior moves from public areas in the stern to private areas in the bow. Two hatches on the roof, which are used during rough seas, are accessed via ladders which retract for added security. The main entrance is the garage door, which doubles as a sun deck. Inside, there is plenty of room to store toys. Shown here is a dinghy, six surfboards, and three two-person kayaks. The dinghy slides across a folding table onto its storage hammock, a hammock people can lay on when the dinghy is outside. The table, hammock, and board racks all fold away, creating a nice and shaded outdoor space. The port side of the garage also houses a workbench and six lockers for wet gear. Moving forward on the ship takes you to the multi-purpose living room. This room features two sets of tables with cushions on one side. These tables are mounted to a set of translators and rotators allowing them to independently rotate 360 degrees within a 1 meter radius. Shown here is a configuration for a dining table. Two dining tables couches which can be set to any back or bench angle, beds, tables, bunk beds, bunk tables, any combination of those or any other configuration you can think of. They also stow out of the way for an empty room. There are also projectors on each side of the room which project onto screens that cover the windows. The galley features plenty of cabinet space, port and starboard, with an island in the center. The island houses four mini fridges to keep the view open, a half oven, microwave oven, stove, sink, and half dishwasher. Next is the ship's living area with a bathroom to port and a master bedroom to starboard. The master bedroom features a wardrobe and a queen bed which raises to the ceiling allowing access to the dresser slash vanity combo beneath the bed. The bathroom houses a washer-dryer combo, bathtub, toilet, and sink centered in the windows. Above the bedroom and bathroom are two queen lofts with his and her drawers. These are accessed via ladders which along with the ladder in the garage grant access into the garden. This 200 square foot garden is tended while laying face down in a hammock. The hammock is on rails so you can move around and work with your hands without crushing the plants. The bridge is at the front of the ship behind a watertight crash zone and bulletproof windows. The ship controls face forward and you can turn inward for desks. Video taken from a rotating camera atop the signal mast is relayed to a monitor covering the crash zone. This will significantly increase the bridge's situational awareness. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to the Sovereign Sailor. For more information, please visit woodisondesign.com. Thank you and have a nice day.